Chapter 59 Nikki Marshall I don't know what day or time it is. I don't know where I am anymore. I don't know why they don't believe me. I don't know why they think I can see the future. I don't know how much longer I can take. Every inch of my body aches. Each patch of skin, every muscle hurts, I swear even my hair hurts. I wish I could stop breathing, I feel like I'm getting punched with each breath. Slowly, I open my eyes. My left eye stings and I'm sure it's swollen. Wait, is it even open? It's too dark in here to tell. You're awake. Listen. I don't have much time. A whisper enters my mind. Is it real? Am I imagining it? Pretend to be their fortune teller and you can stop this torture. You can buy yourself more time. More freedom. Show them they can trust you, wait for it, then escape. The voice disappears as fast as it came. I want to call out for help but I'm not sure if that would be a good idea right now. A blinding light turns on. It hurts even after I close my eye. Ready for round two? I was thinking it would be fun to make you watch as we do the same to the little brat. The feminine voice belongs to Sandra. She sickens me with how twisted her mind must be. She wouldn't do anything to a child. Would she? I'll do it. Talking hurts. I barely hear the words come from my mouth. I'll do anything they want. Good. Let's get you cleaned up. Darius, please tell Manti to come in here. We can't have our prophet dying on us. The voice is from a man I haven't met before, yet it seems familiar.